Want to help support Juno Cigars? Two great ways to do it, smokeagoinshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. And afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Jenna Cigar is back for another review here in the month of March, and we are going to be diving back into Tim Osgener's group of cigar makers, the Osgener Family Cigar Company. Did the boss for us a few months back, really enjoyed that cigar, and now I'm going to be doing the limited release, the Pie Synesthesia. For those of you who are wondering, what the hell does that mean? Well, it refers to artwork that Tim Osgener, his father, Chano Osgener, the late great Chano Osgener of CAO Cigars. He was an artist in his own right. And uh, the pie synesthesia is a term that he used to uh, talk about attributing, um, what is it, shapes to numbers and colors to numbers uh, in their infinite possibilities. Well, this is kind of a step further talking about this cigar. Tim Osgener said that this cigar is supposed to taste like the color yellow. So now he's attributing colors to flavor. Very interested to see how this one goes. This is a 6x52 straight Parejo cigar featuring Nicaraguan long fillers, a Ecuadorian Habano binder, and an Ecuadorian shade-grown wrapper leaf. Uh, the light is really bad. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Oh gosh, can you even see this? Here we go. That's a little bit better. We've got a very nice looking wrapper leaf. Tight seams, a couple wrinkles in the wrapper. Nice straight, very even roll. Simple enough and decent enough looking double cap on the top. And I love the band work on here. Very, very artistic, somewhat avant-garde. And pre-light aromas. Got some graham cracker, vanilla wafers. There's some nuttiness coming through. Kind of reminds me of just kind of a raw almond sort of flavor off of the foot. We got a little bit of milk chocolate coming off of the foot and sweet natural tobacco. All right, let's go ahead and get this one cut. Check out the cold drop. Cold draw does have some woody notes, but there's also some lemon-esque lemon -esque sort of flavors coming off here. It's just kind of a subtle lemon citrus. Is that what he means by yellow? Lemon? Possibly. Some pine nuts in there as well. And natural tobacco again. All right, let's go ahead and get this toasted, see what we can find out. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that howling dog in the background. He's been going for a good full minute now. Excellent draw. Great smoke output. Huge plumes of medium to mild to medium sort of uh, texture on the smoke. Oh, very buttery. That is a very nice buttery sort of texture. Getting up more of that graham cracker note coming through again. There's some biscotti sort of, sort of flavors coming through. Very much reminiscent of a biscotti cookie. Again, I'm getting little hints of some lemon zest coming through, mixing in with that graham cracker. There's some nuttiness. Again, it's just kind of a toast. I kind of reminds me of like an almond-infused biscotti. I'm kind of liking these flavors. They're they're very nuanced, but they're they really kind of tease the palate a little bit. You're not really sure what you're getting, but they are all enjoyable. All right, a lot to unpack here. I'll let this go until I get a little further into the first third. I'll see you then. All right, 10 minutes in, well into the first third. We've got a very nice looking burn line here. Slightly slanted, but nothing I'm too concerned about. So, flavors are very interesting. There is just sort of a lemon citrus zest that is kind of lingering in the background and it's always kind of there, slightly tinging all the other flavors, but the other flavors are also very interesting. Um, there is, a lemon curd, there is like a buttered pastry coming through. 
there is a lot of cream, but there's just a ton of cream notes coming through. Kind of reminding me of amaretto at times. Other times it just kind of reminds me almost like of buttermilk. It's a, it's, it's got a tartness to it. Kind of reminds me of buttermilk or even just buttermilk pastries. Vanilla wafer definitely coming through now. And just general vanilla notes coming through. Other times it's reminding me of like butter pecan ice cream. That sort of buttery, nutty sort of nuance with lots of cream notes just kind of reminds me of butter pecan ice cream. On the retrohale, Mm. Great levels of roasted almond, white pepper, cedar, and hot buttered toast. That is a great retrohale. Hold on. There's some cinnamon coming through in there as well. There's a lot of stuff coming out of this cigar, and the texture is just decadent feeling. I mean, it's, it's not super rich. It's more delicate feeling, but it just feels like a buttery pastry dessert sort of texture. It's just excellent. Liking this one quite a bit. All right, let this go until I get about halfway through the cigar. See you then. All right, 35 minutes in, just about at the halfway point. Great burn line, really good smoke texture, great smoke output. Still mild to medium body, getting an increase of just a lot of different flavors. We're getting a nice hot buttered cinnamon and sugar toast we're getting some Nutella spread. We're getting just a little bit of just straight up milk chocolate. Still getting some of that buttery pecan and lots of cream on the retrohale. Oh my gosh. That is the incredible vanilla cream, cinnamon, chocolate, brown sugar, roasted almond. Boy, that is delicious. That is a really good retro hill. I'm digging this one quite a bit. Man, this would be fantastic right after like a breakfast of like donuts and coffee or maybe just like uh, homemade buttermilk pancakes with real maple syrup or chocolate chips. Man, that would just be a really good thing to have right before this cigar. Man, this is tasting great. Really am liking this one a lot. All right, let this go until I get a little further in, probably towards the end of the cigar. I'll see you then. Okay, we are 65 minutes in and down to the end here. Burn line, a little bit weird right there, but it's pretty minor. Just started doing that. Ashed it three times. Each time the ash held on for a pretty long time. Each was about an inch and a half or so. Flavors, not quite so yellow anymore. Starting to get a little more nutty, kind of like toasted oat cereal, kind of reminiscent of like Honey Nut Cheerios. Also getting sort of something like a Bran Flakes, toasted wheat, that sort of thing. Like toasted wheat toast, wheat toast. Wow, noisy dogs again, unbelievable. Sweetness has kind of come down. Although we are starting to get some vanilla wafers, I guess there's somewhat yellow flavor right there. Uh, on the retrohale, very smooth, very woody. Got some white pepper still kind of in there on the retrohale. Toasted shredded wheat, lots of cedar, and just a very, very savory roasted almond. Anything else going on in there? There's some pine nuts in there as well in the retro. All around, just a wonderful cigar. Absolutely love the way these flavors tasted in that middle third in particular. That's where a lot of cigars tend to peak as far as the flavors. This one is no exception. And it was just a really nice balance of really nice dessert-like flavors. Smoke texture is kind of drying up a little bit. It's not quite so creamy as it was in the first half of the cigar but still a very pleasant experience, even here in the last part of the stick. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Click that icon bottom right corner if you're watching on YouTube. If you happen to be watching on Rumble, just look for the subscribe button towards the top right of the screen. Please don't forget to follow Juno Cigars on Instagram. And please don't forget to follow me on Cigar Public. Got something out of this video that you like? Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't like something, 
if you outright hated it, just give me a thumbs down, that's fine, but just let me know what you did like so I can try to fine tune this whole review making process. Thank you again, hope you guys are having a great last part of the march. Till next time, smoke a good one.